I'll figure it out. Here we go. Hey, I'm peeling an apple. And, uh, wow. This is like a really, well, there it is. <laughs> Don't you love it? I just, it's still good. It's still good. It ain't, well, I am coring it. Cha cha. Anyway, there's my apple. It's autumn. There's a wonderful cool breeze in the air and I thought I'd make a, a Bruce original. I call it an apple knocker. My name is Bruce. I've been working bar for almost 40 years now. In that time, I've learned a trick or two that I'd like to pass on to you. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. We've got a lot of ground to cover. We'll look at some of the forgotten classics and some unusual new tasty creations right for any occasion. Cheers. The Apple Knocker. It's a wonderful little drink I created with cinnamon and apples and everything autumn. It's, it's, it's alive. And of course, orgeat syrup. Okay, let's start. We got our uh, glass portion of our shaker. First thing we want to do is grab some Calvados. That's our apple brandy. And we want about a half an ounce to three quarter ounce. You decide how strong you want to make this drink. Half ounce. Followed by a little spice drum. Get some spice in your life. Same amount. Half ounce to three quarter ounce. Fireball. That's our cinnamon whiskey. Half ounce. And you don't want to go more than much of a half an ounce because this stuff cuts through anything, man. There we go. Then we've got Criollo. This is a sea salt caramel liqueur. One full ounce. Next thing, juice from a half a lemon. We're just going to put it in our press and we're going to squeeze that out. Typically, it'll yield you close to an ounce, depending on how much juice you got in your lemon. Lately, the lemons seem to be extremely juicy. Look at that. Awesome. The next ingredient is our homemade orgeat syrup. Now, this is pistachio orgeat syrup. Uh, we made it in a previous episode, uh, so look it up uh, because this stuff is. This stuff is gold. And if you don't have the time or patience or the inkling to make your own pistachio or jazz syrup, just buy regular or jazz syrup. Okay, we want one ounce. Oh yeah, that's the gold, baby. Next, applesauce. Who doesn't like applesauce, you know? And I've got about 100 mil here, so that's about, uh, Three ounces. One, two, three. Looks like about four good teaspoons there. Looking good. Give that a little stir. Oh, look at that color. So we're just going to grab our glass here, pop some ice in it, and give her a good shake. Shake like an apple on a tree, baby. Awesome. Looking good. Grab a little glass here. That's a nice little funky guy. And we're just gonna strain this out. We're gonna double strain it. We got all that applesauce in there. And uh, it tends to be a little thick. So, again, just like the uh, making our own syrups. This takes patience too. What else are you gonna do? Give it a little helping hand here. Beautiful. Still got lots left. Okay. 
Okay, now we need a little a fancy garnish. I got this Granny Smith apple. We're just gonna cut that. And a little wedge off of that. And why don't we do something like this. Grab some caramel sauce, and we're just gonna dip the end into this warm caramel sauce, and then dip it into our pistachios that we ground up. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> and now we're just gonna garnish that on the side of our glass. And what to do with all that wonderful alcohol-infused applesauce? Well, spread it over vanilla ice cream. You won't be sorry. Yum. The apple knocker. Knock yourself out, man. That's delightful. Perfect for an autumn evening. Intense. Hey, Bruce here. Check out some of these past episodes and make sure you subscribe or you'll miss out on all the fun. Yeah, we have fun here. For more drinks and recipes, check out bartalkandcocktails.com. Thanks for watching. Let's do it again next week. <laughs>